team, your thoughts on the game? Uh, we fought hard and we got some things we can improve on. Your thoughts on getting your, your first start as a Razorback and how you feel like you did today? It, it felt pretty good. Uh, I thought I did. I thought I did all right. Could have been, you know, could have done better. To be down seven to nothing right off the bat as an offense, how do you guys expect to, to come back and, and give another coach after that? We just stayed in the game, kept our heads in the game, kept fighting, kept fighting. Okay, I know it's not the result you wanted, but do you feel like this was another step in the right direction for you guys? Uh, yes, sir. I think we can build from this and just get better at practice. Okay, you got number one Alabama coming in there looking pretty tough. What, what's your thoughts on, on that? You know, it's, it's a tough stretch here right now. Now you got the number one team coming in. We just got to go in there and fight. Battle. It's going to be a battle the whole game. How would you characterize their defensive front? Because they bring that pressure, and obviously you guys had just 55 rushing yards today, but their defensive line is really strong. Just, just and what, Yeah, what do you think the issues were just going up against that front and just their defense overall? You guys only had the 55 rushing yards? Uh, they, they, they threw some fronts at us that we, you know, got to get better on at practice, and they, they knew our game plan, kind of. So we just kept fighting, kept fighting, and I thought we did good on up front against AM. How emotional was this game for you? Your first start, you're playing in, you know, AT&T Stadium against your ex-teammates. Uh, it was it was pretty emotional. Uh, it was it was good seeing my other teammates and things like that. And tough loss. Did they talk any noise to you at all? Oh yeah. <laughs> what were they saying? Me and Tyrell Dotson <laughs> were just going at it the whole game. <laughs> Whole game. You talk some back at him? Of course. <laughs> mouthpiece in or out? Did he understand you? Oh, mouthpiece out. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you get to watch the defense much, but if so, what what do you think of the way uh, Scooter and Drake outstanding played the, the whole defense? Outstanding. You know, our defense is a strong point. They they do everything right. They they hold they hold us. You know, hold our backs. I mean, they have our backs on them. Scooter had 16 tackles. Dre had a lot of tackles. A couple picks. Um, those guys in particular, what you think of their playing and then the boost they gave the team? They gave us a real big boost. We went back out there and executed a few drives off of those picks. Well, what was the feeling? You, know, you get the ball back down seven, a couple minutes. So you, you know you got a realistic shot to go down and score. Kind of, what, what was the feeling in the, in the huddle? We, the feeling in the huddle. We we thought we were gonna you know get the win, finish the drive. And then we had one mistake. How would you describe the way Ty Story's playing right now? Just the confidence that he's oh, able he's to build. Oh, he's great. He's great. Every game he comes out with the attitude and to win the game. So we just got to keep getting better. Is this offense keep rallying building. around him? Yes. He's, he's the guy. Yes, he's the guy. He, he got sacked five times. He got, of course, you know, quarterbacks get hit. That's kind of goes with the job. But what do you think of the toughness he's shown these last couple of games? He showed him a lot of toughness, a lot each and every game. You know, there's more to come. What did you think of uh, Cheyenne O'Grady getting more involved in the offense today? Cheyenne O'Grady getting more involved in the offense today? Uh, I thought I thought it was pretty good. We did, you know, they put him in the game. He did what he was supposed to do. Do you want to see him more involved moving forward? Uh, yes, sir. I do.